Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Can you guess where we're heading today? Can you guess? Yes, you're right. California Delta. Make it three trips in a row to the Delta. The last two, I think the big story, granted the last trip was in a boat, but the last two trips out on the Delta, big story of 2024, no skunk. Unbelievable. Kind of a welcome surprise. As I've said many times, last year, 2023, this time of year, skunk fest. Four skunks in a row out on the Delta. And it just really hurt the confidence as far as coming out here this time of year. But yeah, different conditions. We don't have as much rain this year. The last two trips out on the Delta, caught numbers, caught some quality. So I think the things are trending in the right direction. So why not go to the Delta a third time in a row? I'm gonna do something today that I know a lot of you guys, kind of like an inside joke, but I know a lot of you guys will uh, question my intelligence for doing. But today out on the Delta, got the scale, and we're gonna weigh, if we catch five, our best five bass. And the running joke is that every time that I've done that in the past five, six, seven years where I decide before I get out on the water that I'm gonna weigh my best five or measure my best five, it is just extremely tough fishing. Most of the time, I don't even catch a limit. It's just like, I'm getting like punished for assuming that I'm gonna just go out there and catch a limit and it's the fishing gods putting me back in my place. But I'm gonna do it again today. Everything's been going right. Last two trips, you know, they're not epic days, but if you can find that right tide, the right bite window, and we do have a good tide today, you can typically get on some fish. And uh, I wanna put this curse to bed. I wanna finally have the confidence to say, yeah, we said the best five challenge, we did it, and we actually caught five, and hey, maybe even put up a decent weight. So yes, I know this could bite me in the butt, but why not? Let's give it a try. But excited to get out there, do some fishing, bring you guys with me, and I'll see you guys out on the water. Alrighty. Let's get her started here. Pretty dang high tide. We gotta go with the spinner bait. Water clarity is, eh, looks to be about a foot and a half, two feet, maybe. Water temp, 54.5. Got some really comfortable conditions right now. I mean, it's chilly, but it feels right. Feels like a fishy day. Can never know out here. It can happen at any time. Might happen right away, might take a few hours, might happen in the last 30 minutes. These fish are just very time specific, it seems like, out here. You get those little bite flurries. You can't get discouraged if you get a bit out here in the first couple of hours. It doesn't necessarily mean anything. Really, I'm gonna mix in a ton of different baits today. Man. Just never know what these fish might be biting. What they're be doing. First official cast with a frog. Twenty twenty four. Oh man, it feels good to throw a frog again. I mean, it's, in general, way too early for it, but you never know. I'm sure there's fish up shallow, or there will be, and, you know, if it's something to eat that's only a foot above their head, they might, they might pop this guy. Oh my! Dude, I... No way. I was going to say, I knew the first bite I got on this, if I were to get a bite, I'd totally goof it up. Oh my god. That fish was up there, dude. I cannot believe I just had one blow up on it. I think it was a small bass. Well, I might be throwing the frog a little more than I thought today. was a fish there and it's still chilling. You gotta throw a worm at him. Wow, that was surprising. I did not think 
there was a very likely chance of a frogfish today, but there might be. I thought he was, dude, I thought that was a five yonder. What? Did he not seem like a giant? Okay, skunk out of the boat, <laughs> gets away one. Man, I, I thought that was a giant. It hit and it, like that first initial surge where you can kind of get a better idea as to how big the fish is, that, that really had me convinced it was like a five pounder. All right, what do we got? 194. Okay. All right. First fish of the day. Good sign. We're gonna we're gonna break this curse here. Thank you, sir. Old spinner bait. Old spinner bait. There's right there, kind of that little lane in between the small tule patch and the big tule patch. Made that exact same cast and just rolled it right through. The fish was sitting in about three foot. I mean, if anything, that frog blow up tells me, or at least confirms, that there's fish up shallow. That's like the one thing you gotta always wonder. Are they up shallow? Are they out a little bit deeper? Are they buried? But no, that frog fish and that fish right there tells me there are some fish up shallow and active, so it's a big confidence boost. But he's got something. Hope it's not a giant bass. Get away from me, man. <sighs> Scare all the fish away. Do not come up shallow. That's probably what he's doing. He's probably, I, I didn't see what he had over there, but very well could have been a bass up shallow. This time of year, from now until May, June, these fish will be real vulnerable. And these sea lions will just come up and pick them off. Not cool. There's no one. Curse might be broken, guys. Curse might be broken. Same exact ingredients on that spot, too. Backside of the toolies, about three, four foot of water. All right, I can get on board with that. See, I probably saved this one. He's gonna be all freaked out and hide after I throw him back and I'll be safe from the sea lion. It's a healthy one, not a giant, but a healthy one. 257. All right, go hide. <laughs> yep. Right there. That's where he was. Sitting in about three feet on the back side of the Thule clump. I'm a fan so far. was a good one right there. He just missed it. I didn't even swing on him. That was a good bass. We 
weird. That is... Wow. My god, there is a frog bite going on right now. Who would have thought? What in the world? Just didn't get it. It's almost like they're hitting it out of reaction. Because that's the second one that tried to follow up with a worm and nothing. Yep, definitely had a mix in the frog today, especially now that the sun's out or peeking out, get a little bit warmer. The only way I'm going to catch one, I think, is that on the back side, like flat, calm water, and it's got to be super shallow. With spinnerbait fish, we're a little bit deeper. When I say deeper, I mean like three, four foot. Two frog fish were in about a foot, so I don't think if I threw the frog over the uh, spinnerbait fish, I would have caught them. These fish have to be up shallow for me to get bit on this. Don't know why they're missing it though. Well, it's 11 o'clock, guys, and I've only got two fish on the scales. Two fish in the boat. Missed a couple of frogfish, but that's really been it. Maybe another bite on the spinnerbait. Not really sure. But my point being is we're behind schedule. <laughs> I mean, the start of this morning, I felt pretty good that we'd get five by noon. And I don't know if maybe I've wasted too much time throwing the frog. The fact that there's potential keeps me throwing it, but I don't know. This is... uh. Not what I expected after what we saw this morning. Still half a day left. And as far as breaking the curse, I'm going to say that just catching a limit, putting five on the scale today would be a breaking the curse. And anything shy of that would be what the heck did I think this morning when I made this challenge. Everything looks good though. I mean, the water's up to almost 56. Water clarity's good. There's fish shallow. Just got to keep covering water, I think, and make the right bait choice at the right time. Actually, I haven't thrown the crankbait yet at all. Oh my god, first cast with a crankbait. Good one, too. Good one. Is this a bass? No net, of course. You a bass or a striper? You might be a stripey. Dude, this one has got some fight in him. Oh god, it's a big bass. Come on, baby. I don't have the net. Am I using the lip grippers? Oh, man, it's big fish of the year. Six, seven pounder. Giant, giant. I'm using the lip grippers. Come here, dude. No, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Come here, come here, come here. Gotcha. That one's going to help the cause. First cast with Fritzide 5 Biggin. And it's a Biggin. Literally, first cast of the day with it. All right. That one's going to go a long way. What a gorgeous fish. And I'm gonna say five. It's gotta be five and change. Five forty-four. That one helps. That one helps for sure. 
Well, big fish of the year, folks. <laughs> what a gorgeous fish. Delta might be back. Thank you, sir. Gosh, that was just a random cast. You didn't know, you probably think I had live scope. Casting out kind of in the middle. Obviously I don't have live scope. That'll turn the day around. A little uh, confidence booster, gets the juices flowing again. I was a little depleted there for a while. I don't know, you, you, I say that, and you just, it just doesn't mean anything. It really doesn't. That was a random cast, and you know, he could have just gone by one at the right time. see one up shallow like a three pounder i was just coming over here just to peek this is definitely an area they will be bedding i highly doubt there's any bed fish over here right now but maybe some shallow cruisers just like that dude that stick feel like a fish I swear that stick bit Goodness. I'm telling you, that swan is following me. Why are you following me? I left you alone. What's up with all the animals creeping on me today? Finally got one. Man, it took a long time. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I don't think I can boat flip this one. Come here, come here, come here. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Not a lot of bites today, but a couple of nice ones in the mix. Number four. The butte. Three fifty-four. Okay, solid one. Solid, solid, solid. All right, I like it. Number four. One more for a limit, and I'll be a happy camper. There's still a bad fish up shallow. Yeah, another fish way up there. Even though the tide's dropping, the water's getting lower. I guess there's still some fish hanging up shallow. Number five. Get in the boat. Alrighty, not a big one, but here's our limit. The curse is over. <sighs> Another one way up there. Man, these fish are shallow today. 176. It's actually the small one for today. 
got to call that one out with like a eight pounder or something. Whew, that's a relief. After uh, that huge time period, we basically caught that nice one and then didn't get another bite after that. I was thinking oh, I made a mistake doing this challenge, but I don't know. It is the Delta, like I mentioned, and how I see it, you know, it just can happen at any moment. You can have these two, three, four hour long periods where you don't get a bite and then boom, boom. Big one, big one. high too gotta be a high too man that bite's fun they're smacking it today oh, I'll get rid of that 176 get a little call right there man what a beast that was that was a freight train hitting the spinner bait okay I'll keep doing that all day I don't mind that at all setting up here holy man they're setting up here that was like the most obvious spot that fish could have been in too i don't think that's gonna call <laughs> they're definitely setting up and eating right now <laughs> happens just like that bigger than I thought. I thought he hit it and it was dinky. I think that'll call. You ready? <laughs> oh yeah, that'll call. There's a solid. There's a solid one. It's a small call. Man, it's funny, I was thinking about picking up the frog for that cast and just made the spinnerbait cast. I don't even know why, but I was thinking about the frog. Would you have eaten the frog? <laughs> Gotta get rid of a, eh, I don't know, this might not call. Gotta get rid of a 194. Oh, yeah, small call. <sighs> keep going, keep going. I think the main difference right now, for whatever reason, they're they're willing to chase it. I think this morning, those fish that we caught on the spinner bay, I had to put it right by their head. And it feels like, it seems like these fish at least are coming out and chasing it. That's good. Just a bigger strike zone. You don't have to land on one to get a bite. Certainly makes it easier. Scoop up of the day. Got me hung in a tool. Hey, sorry, buddy. Oh, that's not even a keeper. He hit it like he was a keeper. Took a minute. Eh, I don't think that's gonna call. Nope, I gotta get rid of a 2.2. Good problem to have. I don't know. <laughs> Might be asking for a lot with a cull at this point. Man, that time, geez, that fish was in a foot and a half of water. Gosh. 
That's the name of the game today. Throw it as shallow as you can. If you're fishing more than three foot, I feel like you're fishing too deep. Alrighty guys, it's about three o'clock and I think I'm gonna call it a day. Wow, I think it is official. We can safely say that the curse has been broken. That uh, jinx that I always seem to have whenever I try to do a best five weight challenge or length challenge and the fishing is just super tough. Well, it wasn't today. The fishing was good. Started out the day with high expectations. Already had two trips out on the Delta. No skunks, caught some fish, quality and quantity times before. So I was thinking that today would be a good opportunity to catch both quality and maybe some numbers. Had an incoming tide first part of the morning started to really raise that water level which I like especially this time of year so I figured things were setting up nice it was kind of slow to start made a lot of casts I actually had some warmer conditions and picked up a frog I think it was like the second or third cast threw it right into a pocket got blown up on fish missed it didn't seem very big but I was really surprised especially with a 54 55 degree water temperature that a fish would be that shallow and that active to hit a frog just goes to show you can never rule it out kind of messed around with that a little bit longer did primarily think that we'd catch them on a spinnerbait today around the Thule clumps up close towards the bank and we did end up catching a couple on a spinnerbait absolutely thump the thing I mean I don't know what it is with these fish this time of year if they're just more aggressive or what but when they hit that spinnerbait I mean I thought one of those fish was like a five six pounder he's like two and a half but a couple of spinnerbait fish to get the juices flowing get a couple on the scale so that was nice and then we went a long time without a bite I think the only other bite I had in the next like couple hours was on the frog again and that fish that missed the frog again way up shallow probably in less than a foot of water went a long time without another bite covered some water one bait that I hadn't thrown all day just decided to pick it up it's a flat sided crankbait at Fritz side five biggin first cast get a bite actually don't even know what it is it kind of feels like a striper but finally get the fish up to the boat see it's a big old bass big old bucket mouth use the old fish grips because I didn't bring a net with me today to get the fish in the boat and a solid five and a half pounder big fish of the year for me a nice kicker for the bag but only fish number three super happy to have it but still work to do covered a lot more water I actually saw a couple of fish shallow so at this point you know I mean we're halfway through the day it's safe to say there's fish shallow up in like a foot of water even though the tide was starting to drop I think those fish were still hanging up in the shallows it went a little while without a bite had a couple of uh, swans follow me sea lions chase me around but there was one stretch a magical stretch of the day that uh, it just seems to happen we said it right in the beginning of this video that you can go hours and hours without a bite out here on the Delta and then in you know 15 20 minutes your day can change and that's exactly what happened spinnerbait up shallow less than a foot of water in this, I don't know, maybe 7,500 yard stretch of island and uh, started catching them. Those fish were setting up. I didn't have to put it on one's head. They were chasing. Ended up getting the limit with a spinnerbait and then calling up a few times with a couple of really solid fish. And again, man, oh man, they just hit that spinnerbait so hard. What a fun bite. I think uh, the final weight, the best five today was a little over 16. So definitely a better day for me on the average. So I will certainly take it. Yeah, guys, I think it is safe to say the curse is over. I don't know when the next time I'm going to do this best five challenge. You know, I don't want to push my luck, but certainly Certainly an amazing day, a fun day out here on the California Delta. Three trips out, no skunks, so things are still looking positive. Guys, that's the video. As always, I thank you for watching, for coming along, and I'll see you guys in the next one.